Bunny. Yes. Bunny, my friend who is more than brother to me. I embrace thee. You are what? That's a line from the 19th. Uh, nothing. I was just uh, paraphrasing a line from the 1960s Thor cartoon. Okay. Back when they would like just back when they would just like get like the comic book and just badly animate it, you know? Oh yeah. Uh I back in probably... the day there was like Fantastic Four cartoon and a Hulk cartoon, Captain America, but they were all really shitty. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. I can't think of so, the Thor. Uh, I can't think of the Thor theme offhand. I keep getting stuck on Hulk. On the Rainbow Bridge, Bridge of Asgard, Asgard. <laughs> where the sound thing, yeah, something. Yeah. You I, I, can I could do. I could something, do something. 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 <laughs> the son of Odin, mighty Thor. That was the theme song. That was, was maybe amazing. like forty percent of the theme song. It, that no, was that was amazing. good. That was much more than I had. I get. I keep getting stuck with Doc. Bruce Banner, pelted by gamma rays, turned into the Hulk. <laughs> wee, 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 yeah, wee, the wee. Iron Man. Good, too. Yeah. Can you sing it? I don't remember the Iron Man one. I just remember that it was, like, swinging, you know? <laughs> it was swinging. Yeah. Iron Man. Iron Man. I used to try and show you those old cartoons when you were younger, and you could not stand them because they were crap. <laughs> So before we get to the nitty gritty of the podcast, we need to talk about the world of music, Bunny. Okay. There's there's some shocking news in the world of modern rock music. One of the most well-known and beloved rock bands of all time may be breaking up. Oh, no! Okay. Now, now it's not... Not the who. No, it's not 100. It's not 100% confirmed that this band is indeed breaking up. However, this band, the band members, they have never went their own separate ways. They've only recorded together. They've only cr- recorded as a band, as a group. And now, uh, uh? One, of the, one of the band is recording and about to release his first ever solo album ever. Okay. The first yeah. ever solo album from this band, and that usually doesn't bode well, you know? No, it doesn't. It's not a good sign for a long standing and beloved band to finally be breaking out on a solo album. So the news, the big news, Who is, is that it? next month in April, and it's not coming out on April 1st, so you know that it's true. And I've heard, I've heard excerpts from the album and it's very good the uh you're not gonna tell us who it is are you hello next month in april is the first ever solo album of legendary bassist mr Derek smalls oh I, i i don't know who that is is it gonna be jazz odyssey you do too no no, uh, is is, this is actually true. The album is called Small's Change. Get it? <laughs> Small. And then in parentheses after Small's Change, it, it says Meditations Upon Aging. Oh, okay. It doesn't bode well for, for the future of Spinal Tap. No, it does not. But Derek here's the Smalls. thing. He is, Derek Smalls is the basis for the legendary rock band Spinal Tap. So the album is ridiculously full of uh, guest stars. Ah, okay. <laughs> so, so the album features, in no particular order, and this is not a full list, the album features Peter Frampton, Joe Satriani, Steve Vai, the drummer from Red Hot Chili Peppers who looks just like Will Ferrell, uh, Dweezil Zappa, David Crosby, Paul Schaefer, and actress Jane Lynch for some reason. Okay. And just a whopping shit ton more people. So, Bunny. Yes. 
I know you must be super excited. We've had this podcast since the end of 2014. How many times on the Pope on Film podcast have you dreamed of a musical collaboration between the band Toto and the host of the show Hollywood Game Night? I am totally down. Oh, so many times on the show. Have at least twice. That? Yeah. Definitely twice at least. How, oh, how many times on this show have you said, you know what, I wish the band who sang I Bless the Rains Down in Africa would one day get to do a rock album with the lesbian dog trainer from Best in Show. <laughs> now, finally, your dreams are coming true. Uh, I, I, you I, know? I feel fulfilled now. I've heard I've heard some of I've heard excerpts from the album and it does sound pretty damn good. Yeah. Uh, so I, I'm excited I, I, I about am that. excited. I'm it sounds like about fun. The logistics of it. The logistics? I'm confused about the logistics of it. I'm thinking that maybe they own the characters, but they no long but they but they don't own the rights to release albums. So Harry Shearer is just working around that by releasing a solo album. Possibly. You know, that's my, that's a possibility, but I don't know if it's 100% accurate. But anyway, it's coming out mid-April. Smalls Change, Meditations Upon Aging. And it actually sounds like it might be pretty good. So be on the lookout for that. The first ever solo album of legendary... Spinal Tap bassist, Mr. Derek Smalls. Uh, I, I think we have a hit. Yeah, well, maybe. <laughs> Smalls Change. I even like the title. Yeah, no, it's catchy. It's catchy. Yeah. 